Are you serious? Are you serious? There's, it's kind of amazing how the Holy Spirit can start to reveal things in advance. Now, there is uh, two things I want to talk about. Get a cup of coffee, some of this, and, and, and just sit down for a minute, okay? Relax. If you got my regular white cup, uh, you know, Jesus saves, get a cup of that. If not, get the travel mug. Pour yourself a cup of coffee, and that's good, too. And and Because relax, because you're going to need it. Calm down. First of all, I'll just quickly say this. Rita of Oklahoma sent me some information. Um, I'll just read this part of it. You probably don't know, folks, but the Department of Justice has given $400,000 grant of, U, of U.S. tax dollars to W. Hayward Burns Institute uh, because, and they're a nonprofit organization, but they get $400,000 of American tax dollar money. I, I can't figure that one out. I, maybe I just don't understand. I'm just a small town preacher from Indiana, in the cornfields of Indiana. I'm a nonprofit, Paul Bigley Prophecy. Bylaws, I'm not a 503C, by the way. Uh, and, I don't know where people say that. I, I'm not against anybody if they are, but I'm just saying I'm not. I'm a bylaws, okay, basically. But as a nonprofit, how did they get $400,000 from the government? Uh, but anyway, I guess you can. Faith-based uh, can, I guess. These guys, though, you know, here's the deal, though. They got the $400,000 from the government grant from the Department of Justice because they are saying that disproportionately high crimes being committed in this country... Is, is being committed by minorities and juvenile delinquents who are being discriminated against. That's why they're out here creating all this crime. So first they say minorities, then they say juvenile delinquents, which means all races. So basically they're, they're blaming crime on discrimination, okay, instead of on sin. But that's another story. But here's what's really blowing my mind. That one of the... Uh, Institute's board of directors is a lady named Ber Bernadine Darham. Now, she is the wife of Bill Ayers, who's the co-founder of the Weathers Underground, who tried to blow up the Capitol and the Pentagon and other government buildings because he was protesting against U.S. policies back in the 1970s. He was on the FBI's most wanted list. So was she, by the way. How do you go from FBI most wanted fugitive, and terrorism bombings of the U.S. Capitol and Pentagon, how do you go from there to getting $400,000 of U.S. tax dollars grant for a nonprofit? How does that happen? Who do you know in the government? What connections are there? I'm just blown away. I, maybe I don't understand. I'm just a small town preacher from the cornfields of Indiana. Oh, and by the way, while you're thinking about those things and making your comments down below explain to me how it happens, let me also tell you something going on in the Holy Spirit as well. I had a dream in 1994, dream vision, of America being overtaken by China. Now, and radical Islam, by the way, uh, because the governmental part of America was under the control of the Chinese government the political part of it, but the spiritual part of it was in charge of was in charge of radical Islam. And in the dream back in 1994, I and I ended up being thrown in an internment camp with a lot of other Christians and re resistance freedom fighters and people. And I wrote this dream down. Of course, 1994, YouTube wasn't around, but I did upload this video to its two parts, part one and part two. And how I was ended up being thrown in an internment camp where they tried to re-educate us, where I tried to retrain us. And I was separated from my wife and children, never seen them again. And we were sent out to mountains of garbage to sort in some kind of recycling, re-education. You're going to do what we tell you to do. Kind of you have to, you, you need to watch my vision of 1994, part one and part two, because it was what God, I had, I know it was of God. Because I doubted it. After having the dream and vision, I said, this, is, this has to be just a dream. I'm just dreaming this up. Because China's never going to be in charge of America, right? Well, yesterday, folks, 
when everybody was focused on the fact that President Obama came out and said he was for gay marriage, while everybody was focused on that, the, the Federal Reserve approved China purchasing or taking over U.S. banks. And they took over a bank yesterday that had $2.5 trillion of assets and 13 branches across America, some of them in New York, some of them in California. It has begun. China's going to take over America because it's going to take us over because of our debt. That's why in my vision and dream I've seen Chinese soldiers in charge on the ground. It was Chinese soldiers that were rounding us up and putting us on buses and shipping me out west to these internment camps. It wasn't American soldiers. Now, I, I, I'm sharing that with you because I didn't know the banks had done this. It was late yesterday when the banks did this, when the Federal Reserve allowed the bank, the Chinese bank to do this. Earlier, Five Doves did a, uh, if you go to their website, www.fivedoves.com, they did a blog in which I mentioned and my vision, and they quote, and they're talking about Rachel Maddow being very upset at President Obama for uh, the Indefinite Detention Act. But here's what they really want to talk about. And if you don't believe that American soldiers would round up their own family and friends, well, they won't, says Five Doves. The U.S. government will allow thousands of Chinese troops, and yes, Russian soldiers, to enter this country under the guise of training exercises and homeland security exercises. American soldiers won't shoot their own. But Chinese soldiers and Russian soldiers, well, they won't give a hoot. Folks, it's time to pray. Start fasting and praying for this man and this situation. God, have mercy on us. Start planning your family's escape. Start praying for the rapture to come first. Remember that a few years back, it was Pastor Paul Begley who had a dream and a vision about Ch Christians being rounded up, forced into detention centers. And I did. It was 1994, folks. It was called internment camps. And it was not American soldiers that were coming for him and his loved ones. It was Chinese soldiers. That's what it was in my dream. Do you recall that a news article has recently been labeled Pastor Begley as a Christian terrorist? Yes, that's the Huffington Post. Go read the article. It's called Jesus, Johnny Depp, and the Christian Terrorist. And the Christian Terrorist in the article is me, a small-town preacher from Indiana. Why? Because I was upset at Johnny Depp for playing his electric guitar on a video, on a rock video with a band from the United Kingdom called Baby Bird, in which they, took, they, they portrayed Jesus as a drunken, Bachelor party going, hanging upside down, naked from a church steeple, robbing a car to get home. That's what they portrayed him. I, I called it blasphemous and I condemned Johnny Depp. And so the Huffington Post, December 13th, 2011, wrote an article about me calling me the Christian terrorist. She said, they're saying here at Five Doves, anyone who opposes the New World Order is now being labeled a terrorist. Well, folks, the New World Order or the One World Government or the Beast is what the Bible says. One World Government is really the Beast. And the mark of the Beast is the system under the Beast. It's coming. What I want to share with you is Five Doves posted this in the morning of May the 9th with no knowledge that it would be late that night on May 9th that the Federal Reserve would announce quietly that the Chinese government has begun confiscating and repossessing American banks. And if they own the banks, they own the mortgages tied to the banks. So soon it's going to be a house of cards as it collapses. Folks, the vision of 1994 has begun. And the question is, are you saved? Do you know Christ? Now, Stephen of Oklahoma sent this to me. He found this on Five Doves. And uh, he knew right away that this was the, the beginning. And Five Doves is sp explaining it without knowing that the Chinese bank system has begun. Read Proverbs 22.7. It will tell you what happens if you're the, the borrower. Give your life to Jesus Christ.